Welcome to Dorvin Kager, I'm Tanner, and today we are back for another budget booze review. But this just isn't any budget booze review. This particular budget booze review was recommended, rather suggested, by one of our subscribers, Geocom13. He said, hey, what about 10 cup whiskey? 10 cup whiskey is an American whiskey, 42% uh, alcohol by volume, so 84 proof. And uh, I said, sure, I'd do that. So, like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dwarven Kager shenanigans. And if you are looking for a way to support the craziness here at Dwarven Kager, then hit us up on that Patreon link below. So, for those of you who have never seen this series before, this is where we take a budget bottle of alcohol and give it a good review for you guys. The crew at Dwarven Kager love a good budget bottle of alcohol, so our cutoff is like 30 bucks. This was like 26 after tax, so well below the $30 mark. So, as you notice, you get a little tin shot glass with tin cup whiskey. So maybe that's like a dollar worth of the price? I don't know. Let's give this a try. Boop. Okay, let's see here. Pour a little bit there. Um, kind of medium looking body. Um, sweet smells. You get vanilla on the nose. Um, a little of that alcohol smell. As you can see there, it's kind of, it's got good legs sticking to the glass. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. Whew. A little warm. Um, the first thing you get is you do get some, uh, kind of malty, um, vanilla notes up front. Um, yeah, there it is. <laughs> um, you get some, you know, vanilla notes up front, but um, then it just kind of fades into a nice warm peppery burn. Um, honestly, it's hot in the chest. You get a little of that in the nose. Um, you do get a sweet aftertaste in your mouth, but uh, you get like a sweet like vanilla and you get all that peppery burn all the way down. And then, I mean, even still, my chest is warm, It's which is cool because, you know, uh, here in Illinois, it's probably like negative 10 out right now. But it's, um, yeah, it's a little warm. I I'm going to go in for a second one. Ha! Ah. <coughs> a lot of the same. That, um, that peppery burn is kind of intense. And unfortunately, you kind of lose some of the vanilla because of it, that peppery, like I've got a peppery taste on my tongue, my chest is warm, I feel it, it's clear in my sinuses. Um, ooh, man. So, 10 cup whiskey. So let's talk about what it's got going for it, okay? Really cool bottle, so let's take a look at this. Really cool bottle. You get a um, little 10 cup shot glass, and it's technically alcohol. Outside of that, man, can you do better for the amount of money you spend on it, in my opinion. Honestly, I give this like a two. I mean, I can't see a scenario where I want to drink this straight. Maybe with some Coke, you're going to get a different experience, ginger ale, something like that. I would highly recommend, though, not drinking this straight. This is not something you put on ice because you, you've seen me. I've only had like two sips of this. My chest is still warm, okay? It is pretty unrelenting. And like I said, the positive notes, the slight peppery taste, the, the vanilla you get on the nose and when you first take a sip, quickly leave. And the only thing you're really left with is this alcohol just... Fiery burn, fiery burn. So for about 26 bucks, you do a hell of a lot better, honestly. But you know what, Geocom13, thank you very much for suggesting this. I'm glad um, I've looked at this before, you know, and said, you know, that's gotta be one that we do. So thank you for your support. And if anybody has any kind of bourbon or any kind of alcohol, because this is budget booze, so any kind of booze. I know I primarily stick to whiskeys and bourbons, but I'm gonna start branching out into rums, vodkas, tequilas, gin, you name it. If it's under $30, we're going to get it on the show. But if you guys have any recommendations or suggestions, drop a comment down below. Um, till next time, guys, cheers. Ha!